is Anne Lister's diaries. They're famously a little bit raunchy. A bit dirty, yeah. A little bit, yeah. little bit lovely and filthy, aren't they? Yeah. Um, how, how much is that reflected in this show? My, uh, I was working in the theatre when I first got the scripts and um, my mate was... Um, She's lesbian, and she was she's saying, oh, it's, it's a, what the script's say? And I'd sit in her chair, and we'd go through all the scripts, and then you could see her kind of glazing over, she's going, where are the dirty bits? <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, okay, let's get to the dirty bit. Um, I think she, I think, um, I mean, so we did all the research. So mm. we had an intimacy uh, yeah. director as well. So we looked into um, the fact that uh, how she had sex, she didn't like to be penetrated mm. um, because, and she didn't like her boobs being touched mm. because she didn't want to be womanized in that way. Um, she, she had fantasies about, uh, there was a, a, an entry that uh, we were reading that she um, had fantasy about having a penis and shagging some country girl mm. um, and being the dominant um, person in the relationship. She talks a lot about being near and about touching the skin on queer. Um, and um, I don't know how much you know about the diaries, but she also incurred across a lot, um, which basically meant she masturbated or had a wank, whatever you'd like to say. Um, and she... Um, so so she, she often gave lots of pleasure to, mm. the, to her women and then she would um, finish herself off or she would do it separately. So, having looked at all that, having looked at sexual positions and how we'd like to do all, uh, do all that, we then stripped it all back and said, hang on a minute, this show isn't about um, how much sex we can cram into it. Mm. This show is about this amazing woman who happens to be a lesbian. So, let's put all that in, knowing that that's how, um, how she was. Mm. But actually, um, there's not so much of it. And also, they had to wear night gowns because if someone walked in on them um they would have to pretend that they were friends just sharing a bed yeah so there's a bit there's en there's enough kind of uh, to reflect the diaries but we did the homework and then we we there are bits cut out I mean, full marks on your homework. You know all Thanks about stone much. butchers, yeah. psychologies <laughs> of queer sex. That was wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she sounds just my type. Oh, sounds good, great. good. Ace. <laughs> <laughs> I'd think me and Gentleman Jack would have got on great. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, the last thing I wanted to ask you about was you and lovely Sophie Rundle, who plays Anne Walker. Mm, so beautifully. So, yeah. the pair of you, just gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. You two have got such magical, lovely chemistry on screen. Yeah. Now, is that something that you have to really work hard as actors to create, or is it just a natural thing that happens? I think it's, I think it's a natural thing. So, so we do um, chemistry tests. Right. Because with something like this, you absolutely can't get that wrong and also um uh, neither of me and sophie are lesbians so mm. you, we had to absolutely make sure that whatever chemistry we were bringing was right and would um uh, and would sustain the course of their relationship as well so we had chemistry reads and i instantly fell for her because of she she's i mean she's brilliant anyway mm. um and funny and um dozy and geeky and uh, wonderful company and I think I, I think with any relationship um, uh, gay or straight or, or on screen with actors you have to build it up throughout the eight episodes I was with Sophie for eight months and by the end we were really close so with this one because it starts in 1832 and then you see our relationship um, develop on screen I guess me and Sophie developed it at the same time that the audience is seeing it, which is amazing. And, you know, by the end, you're just like any couple that are, you know, farting in bed next to each other between <laughs> takes. And um, at, where at first you're quite, you know, gentle. But, yeah, she won't thank me. for. I I'll say that I was farting. Not so <laughs> Although she probably did. Well, great that you were so comfortable and intimate together. Exactly, yeah. And they were by the end. God, the diaries towards the end, before they got married, you know, they're, they're so complicated. Because mm. um, Anne Walker's character is beautifully... Um, she, uh, she suffers with uh, uh, religious um, phobia, with homophobic toward, uh, homophobia towards herself because of the society's constraints. Yeah. And um, 
and she's so up and down. And, uh, and what Anne Lister tries to do to kind of help her along with that mentally and keep her well, it's exhausting. And I think that, you know, throughout the series, you just, you just want these two women to be together because there's a love there, but it's so hard. And, of course, in that time, it's, um, they had to be so secretive with it. But then they got married, and that's like... I, can't, I still can't believe that happened in 1834, that, she, that, that they did that, and that, they, that she wanted a wife, and she clearly says in the diaries, I want... Uh, it's, she started out at manor school talking about playing um, husband and wife mm. when she was with Eliza Rain um, when she was, like, 15, 16, and it very quickly turned into wife and wife because she knew that's what she wanted. Yeah. And... And I, I, yeah, I still can't get over that that is in print from that time and not many people know about her.